There's an old volcano in Bolivia called Uturuncu. It hasn't erupted in about 250,000 years. So you may think that's the end of its story. But recently, it has started to act a little strangely. At the moment, it resembles a zombie that's waking up from a long nap. Uh-oh, is that kind of apocalypse nearing? Uturuncu is a huge mountain in the Andes that's almost 20,000 feet tall. It's called a stratovolcano, which means it's big, steep, and cone-shaped. These kinds of volcanoes are made from layers of lava, ash, and rocks. They can have terrifying, powerful, explosive eruptions because their lava is thick and traps gas inside. Think of it like a shaken-up soda that's ready to burst. Famous ones like Mount Vesuvius are just like Uturuncu. And do you remember about the tragic fate of Pompeii, completely destroyed during the eruption of Mount Vesuvius? Does something similar await Bolivia? Even though Uturuncu has been quiet for a long, long time, scientists have noticed that it's been letting out gas, rumbling with small earthquakes, and even making the ground around it bulge, kind of like it's stretching. So, people started wondering if it was getting ready to erupt again. Scientists decided to take a closer look at this situation and found out that liquid and gas moving around under the volcano is causing all this activity. It doesn't mean the volcano is definitely going to erupt, but it helps explain why it still seems alive. Let's dive into details. Since the 1990s, Scientists have been using satellites and GPS to keep an eye on the ground around the Uturuncu volcano. At one point, they noticed something weird. The ground was rising in the middle and sinking around the edges, kind of like a sombrero hat. The middle part has been slowly going up for at least 50 years by about 0.4 inches a year. It doesn't sound like a lot, but hold on. This strange shape, along with lots of tiny earthquakes and gas like carbon dioxide coming out of the volcano, made scientists think that there might be a giant blob of magma growing under the mountain. If that were true, it could mean only one scary thing. The volcano could be getting ready to erupt. Uturunco sits on top of a huge underground pool of magma called the Altiplano Puna magma body. This pool is really big and really deep, stretching under parts of Bolivia, Chile, and Argentina. Scientists thought that magma from the APMB might be rising and collecting near the surface, which could lead to an eruption. But now, after studying more than 1,700 earthquakes and checking the rocks around the volcano, scientists have a new idea. Apparently, it's not magma rising up, Instead, hot fluids and gases are traveling up from the APMB through a narrow path shaped like a chimney. These gases, like steam and CO2, can get trapped under the top of the volcano, while salty water, brine, spreads out sideways into tiny cracks in the rocks. This moving gas and water can make the ground rise and fall and cause small quakes, without any magma getting close to the surface. So the good news is, Uturuncu probably isn't about to erupt. If it did happen, it would cause serious damage to nearby communities and even pose a threat to human lives. Lava flows could reach towns tens of miles away from the volcano, and volcanic ash could even spread across Bolivia, Argentina, and Chile. Luckily, even though the volcano is still alive and rumbling, it's not as dangerous as scientists once thought. This discovery might help scientists figure out if other volcanoes around the world are getting ready to erupt. Now, let's visit Alaska, where according to researchers, Mount Spur might erupt soon. It's letting out strange amounts of volcanic gases from the top and side vent, the very vent that last erupted in 1992. If it erupts again, it could cause problems for airplanes flying nearby and might send ash falling from the sky. The good news is that nobody lives close to it, so people are safe for now. 
But even though Mount Spur isn't super dangerous, there are other volcanoes around the world that could be really destructive. One of those is Campi Filegri, a giant volcano system near the city of Naples. Instead of one big mountain, it has 24 craters spread across the area. It last erupted in 1538, but its biggest eruption happened about 40,000 years ago. That explosion covered the whole Mediterranean region in ash and made temperatures drop by up to 16.2 degrees Fahrenheit in Eastern Europe, which led to a very cold volcanic winter. If Campi Flegri erupted again today, it could be very dangerous. It might cover Naples and nearby places in ash, causing earthquakes and landslides, and create air pollution and acid rain. Scientists are keeping an eye on it, especially after a 4.4 magnitude earthquake shook the area in March 2025. But the good news is, there's no sign that magma is rising to the surface right now which means an eruption isn't expected soon. Still, since Italy has a lot of volcanic activity, experts continue to watch it carefully. Mount Vesuvius is also in Italy and is one of the most famous volcanoes in the world. It's known for its huge eruption in 79 CE that buried the Roman cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum. The last time the volcano erupted was in 1944. Today, Vesuvius is even more dangerous because over 3 million people live near it. Around 700,000 people are living illegally right on its slopes, which puts them even more at risk. If the volcano erupts again, it could send rocks and ash flying through the air at nearly 100 miles per hour and cause major destruction possibly even wiping out Naples. And still, scientists believe a big eruption from Vesuvius probably won't happen for a few hundred more years. But since it's still an active volcano, researchers continue to monitor it. Cumbre Vieja is a volcano on the island of La Palma, which is part of the Canary Islands. It last erupted in 2021. During that eruption, lava poured out of the volcano and flowed all the way to the sea. It destroyed over 3,000 homes, but luckily, thousands of people were safely evacuated, so it wasn't as bad as it could have been. In the past, scientists were worried that a huge eruption could cause the entire western side of the volcano to break off and crash into the ocean. This could create a mega tsunami sending massive waves hundreds of feet high across the Atlantic Ocean. But more recent studies have shown that this is very unlikely to happen. Mount St. Helens is a volcano in Washington State in the United States. It had a massive eruption in May 1980 that ended the lives of 57 people. That eruption also caused the biggest landslide ever recorded hot, pressurized magma exploded from the volcano, shooting ash 15 miles into the sky. Ash covered a huge area, and around 230 square miles of land was destroyed. Mount St. Helens is still active and is expected to erupt again someday, possibly even in our lifetimes. But experts say it's not likely to have another huge sideways blast like the one in 1980 thanks to a deep crater that is now formed at the top. It will change the way the volcano might erupt. Popocatépetl is a big, active volcano in Mexico. It's been slowly erupting on and off since the early 2000s. It's really close to a lot of people, just 40 miles from the Mexico City metropolitan area, which has about 22 million people and 30 miles from Puebla, which is home to about 6 million inhabitants. If Popocatépetl had a huge eruption, it could cover Mexico City in thick ash as much as 8 inches deep. That ash could block drains, mess up the water, and even stop the electricity from working. Even worse, fast-moving lava and super-hot flows, called pyroclastic flows, could rush down the mountain and destroy towns nearby. The volcano was quiet for 50 years, 
but now it rumbles and shakes pretty often. There have been over a dozen small eruptions, including some as recent as February 2024. Some nearby places got covered in ash, but scientists say this isn't too surprising, and they're keeping a close eye on it. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.